All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. And we're saying that first and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakak Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, regardless of people here for a bit. This week's lesson, I'm going to call it um, MLK. MLK. What, what does that mean? Martin Luther King. Martin Luther the King. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Add a little joke to it, but MLK. You got people, you know what I'm saying, doing all this marching, you know, going, going back into the history of this guy, MLK. Well, guess what? MLK, you no know saying, was written up in the Bible. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, spoke, spoke about this guy. You know? This demon, this false pastor, this false teacher, this false prophet, man. Then everybody's walking down. To, um, first, they went down to Atlanta today. Then, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow, I think they're supposed to be going to Birmingham where this dude got his head blasted off his shoulders. Uh, you, you wonder why that happened? Because he was a false prophet. Now, I just want to bring some scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei This dude been revealed, you know what I'm saying, many times, but hey, you got to keep revealing these false prophets, man. You simple Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all believe everything this dude said, man. Even up until this day, man. The scriptures right here, man. Even up until this day, 2018, these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans still think Martin Luther, Lucifer the King, you know what I'm saying, was a man of the Lord, y'all. He was a false teacher. He was a false prophet, man. Okay? When are y'all going to get that through y'all rock-headed skulls, man? Martin Lucifer, the king, was a false prophet, man. Okay? MLK. All these church pastors, man. So I'm going to hop right into it, man. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. Jeremiah 23, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Who made a speech like that, man? Who made a I have a dream speech? And guess what? That speech wasn't even his. That speech was written by some white, some so-called white man, an Edomite. You know what I'm saying? Who wrote who wrote all his speeches? Martin Lucifer King, aka Martin Luther King, aka MLK, didn't write none of his speeches, man. Alright? And yeah, you can get mad, you can fuss, cuss, um, come on on video, make your stupid, dumb comments. But this guy is written up in the scriptures. The Lord said this dude prophesied lies in his name, man. Plus Martin Lucifer King, you know what I'm saying, won't even use the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, right? He wasn't saying, Yahweh, by Shemel, Shai. He wasn't teaching our people that they're Hebrew Israelites. He was still teaching our people that they're African American, that they're colored, that they're black. False prophet. Once again, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. The prophesied lies in my name. He wasn't telling us, um, well, he, he was uh, prophesying. He was prophesying lies, like the scriptures just said. Tell us um, white boys and slave girls and boys going to get together, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to join hand in hand. That was all, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashem is all about division, man. Okay? Separation, man. He created Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, to be above all the other heathen nations. There's no, there's no such thing as equality, man. Equality came about, you know what I'm saying, from the so-called white man. There's no such thing as equality. So read on. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said. The prophesied lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. As soon as he came up with that, I have a dream speech, you stupid, dumb Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you fell for it, man. You fell for his lies, man. You fell for his lies, but, but what the scripture say? The simple believe of every word. Let me get that right quick. This is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. The simple believe of every word. You simple, dumb, stupid Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, believe every word, every lie that came out of this dude's mouth. We tell you the truth. Y'all don't believe us. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We tell you the truth. 
of what's going on according to the Bible. Y'all don't believe us, but y'all still, 2018, still believe the words of this cool man? It was lying to y'all, man. Once again, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15. The simple, the simple believeth every word. But the prudent man, the wise man, looketh well to his going. See, a wise man going to do some research and see what this guy's really talking about and find out if this guy's telling the truth or if he was lying. But the simple ain't going to do no research. You're just going to follow behind this dude. And this dude going to lead you to the slaughter, man. Okay? So going back. Um... Uh, white slave owners and slaves gonna get together, you know what I'm saying, and join hands and sing in an old spiritual. Come on, man. Lies, man. It says, how long, going back to Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 26, how long shall this be in the heart, coming from, from, from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? So the only thing Martin Lucifer King was prophesying lies had y'all walking from one state to had them walking from all the way from Alabama, you know what I'm saying, all the way to DC. Only thing you got, you know what I'm saying, for following this dude is calluses and coins on your damn feet, man. Okay? And a whole lot of knots on your head from getting lumped up from Edomites that was throwing rocks at your ass, man. This dude got a lot of our people killed, man. So so it was a must that you have by Shemel Shah took that man out, man. He led our people to the slaughter, man, as the scripture have said. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart. Yeah, that man was de deceitful, man. That man was teaching lies, man. That man was teaching the truth according to the Bible. Matter of fact, you, you didn't see nine times that this man actually read anything out of the Bible. You know, everything that he was quoting was lies, you know. He didn't go into what the color of the Lord was, the name of the Lord, who the Lord's people is, nothing. But our people just follow behind this dude. Just like I just read in Proverbs um, 14 and 15, the simple believe in every word. Our people believe every damn word this man was saying. This man was speaking lies, man. We're supposed to speak the truth to your neighbor, right? It says, um, verse 27, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 27, which think that cause my people, to forget my name. Why? How did how did he cause um the heavenly father and son's people to forget their names by teaching another name? By teaching um God bless um the Christ and all this nonsense, man. He won't, he won't teach you no Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? This man won't bring it out the meaning of the words teaching our people. The Lord said in Jeremiah um 3 and 15, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. That dude didn't do that. That man told us, um, everybody's created, created equal. Come as you are. Had homosexuals up in the church, which he was a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a well-known fact. He was part of the Boule Society, which, which pushes homosexuality. You know what I'm saying? And it's a wicked uh, fraternity, man. You no? Know? You're supposed to make no covenant with the heathens. He was part of the Boule. Look it up, man. Look it up. And then right before this coon died, you know what I'm saying? That coon said um, he felt like he left his people. He, he felt like he led his people into a burning building, man. Because right before Martin Lucifer King died, he knew he had um, been lying to his people all those years, man. He, he knew he had destroyed his people, man. He made his people worse off than they was. Because before this dude started speaking his lies, at least the children of Israel did, you know what I'm saying, um, know that they had enemies, man. You know? He put our people right back to sleep, man. So it says, uh, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that have a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that have my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? So if you got all these dreams, you tell your damn dream. But the men of the Lord are going to speak the words that you have about Shemya Rashad. The hell with your dream. To hell with your dream. Your dream died with you, man. Because it was all a false dream. It was false visions, man. That's what that dude was giving our people. False hope, man. Okay? So jumping down to verse 32. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 32. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. And that, that so-called dream that he had was a false dream. Was a false vision, right? 
And the Lord said, I'm against that dude. That's why the, that's why the Lord had that dude get shot in his head, man, and took him out um, down in Alabama, man. Okay? Birmingham, Alabama. Had our people getting rocked upside the head. Um, you had our um, people get dogs set on them. You know what I'm saying? Dogs biting the shit out of our people. Our people got water hold down. Follow behind this coon, man. And then they, then they in Atlanta right about now, you know what I'm saying? Looking up at pictures and murals, you know what I'm saying? Um, going to different spots where this coon was at, man. And then tomorrow, I think they're going to um, Birmingham, Alabama to go to that hotel where he got his damn head blasted off, man. So the Lord said, I'm against that dude. We're going to get the scriptures proving that, man. You're supposed to be speaking the truth to your neighbor, man. Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? They speak no truth, man. Nothing he said came to pass, man. Okay? 32 again, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 32. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Saith the Lord, you have by Shemiah was shot. So I'm not saying this, the Lord is saying this. The Lord is against that dude, okay? And do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies. And that's what, exactly what Martin Lucifer King did. He caused the Lord's people to err by his stupid lies, man, okay? It says, um... And by their and by their likeness, yet I sent them not. The Lord didn't send this dude. That dude just popped up all of a sudden. Cause that dude, the first thing that dude always used to say, um, I chose the Lord. But the scriptures say the Lord gotta choose you. Okay? It says, By their likeness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. You have by Shemam Shai. Did Martin Luther King profit us anything? No, man. He took us back in years, man. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make no progress lying to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. None whatsoever, man. You know? And the Lord said, I'm against that dude, man. And you, and you, and you, you saw what happened. You, you saw what happened, right? The Lord was against that dude, man. Okay? This is um, St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It's written in red. It's the Lord speaking. Lord, Yahweh shot. Beware of false prophets. Beware of false prophets. Guess what? MLK, he was a false prophet. And the Lord is telling us to beware of all false prophets, man. Okay? Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are reverent, revening wolves. Ravening wolves. So, yeah, Martin Lucifer King, yeah, he had on a suit, smooth face. The, the, the servants of the Lord going to have a beard on their face. That dude had a smooth face. That dude was eating pork. He said it was all right to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters. He said it was all right to be a homosexual. He said it was all right to celebrate the, the pagan customs of the heathens. That dude was a false prophet, man. You know what I'm saying? Wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing, man. Okay? Tell me everybody's created equal. The slave owner and the slave going to come together, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to live together in peace. That was a lie, man. Once again, St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening, ravening wolves, man. Okay? So, so Martin Luther King won't do nothing but really trying to, try to devour our people, man. Which he did, man. And look at the, the mind state of Jake right about now, man. Jake mind gone, man. You know what I'm saying? Falling behind MLK. You know what I'm saying? And what is it, the 50-year anniversary of that nonsense Jake been, you know what I'm saying, going on for 50 years, the last 50 years, falling behind this damn coon, man. And, and, and it's sickening, man. It's sickening. Let's get another scripture. I ain't going to make this a long lesson, man. I'm about to wrap it up, man. The scripture is basically, you know what I'm saying, proving everything, man. That our people shouldn't be falling behind this coon, man. But this video that I'm doing is only for the elect of the nation of Israel anyway. Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Two-thirds, keep doing what you do, man. Keep doing what you do, two-thirds. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 13. Verse 5. Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 5. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, that was his, that was his um, main speech, right? I have a dream, I have a dream, right? And that prophet, Deuteronomy, chapter 13, Salakia, verse 5, and that prophet, he said he was a prophet, right? He said he was a bishop. He said he was a um, a reverend, right? He's supposed to have been an um, ambassador for the Lord, right? 
And that prophet, this is the most I speak on you, even they call God speaking. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death. So the Lord put that dreamer of dreams to death, man, okay? For causing his people to err, man. You know what I'm saying? For not teaching the truth to his people, man. Yeah, look, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna ask you this one question: Did Martin Lucifer King teach our people that they the Hebrew Israelites? Huh? Did Martin Luther King teach our people the names of the Heavenly Father and the Son in the Hebrew? Huh? Did he teach our people what color the Lord is? Huh? Did he? No. Did he teach us where we really from? No. He was speaking about Africa, man, which we're not from Africa. We're from Jerusalem, man. Okay? Regardless of what anybody else say, man, we are the children of the Lord. We are the Hebrew Israelites, all right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right? The spirit bear witness with our spirit who we are, man. Okay? The curses fit us to the T. So once again, Deuteronomy chapter 13, and I got one more after this. Deuteronomy chapter 13, well, matter of fact, I probably got two more after this. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 5 again. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, Shall be put to death. So the Lord put that dream of dreams to death. The Lord did it, man. The Lord had that man get blasted in his head. The issues of death come from the Lord, man. Proverbs 68 and 20. Read that. Proverbs, not nah, um, Psalms. Psalms 68 and 20, man. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure, man. As a matter of fact, while I'm making sure, I might as well read it. Let me just get it right quick. The Lord put that dream of dreams to death, man. Point blank, period. So I can. This is um, Psalms chapter 68, yeah, verse 20. Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, the Lord, Belong the issues from death. So Martin Lucifer King getting shot in his head. Do you know that was one of the issues from death? Orchestrated by Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. So going back. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 5. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death. Because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord. Your power. You know what I'm saying? That man turned our people away from the Lord, man. It says, um, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. And redeem you out of the house of bondage to thrust to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy power commanded thee to walk in. So shall thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. So, so that's how you have by Shemiah Shai get rid of evil men. By putting them to freaking death, man. Okay? That's how you have by Shemiah Shai get rid of wicked men. Just like he gonna get rid of Creepshow Dollar, Al Sharp Tongue, Jesse Jackson. He already got rid of um, what the old boy Eddie Longthorn. He got rid of Martin Lucifer King, that false prophet, that dream of dreams. And he gonna get a, he gonna get rid of the rest of you coons, man. It's been lying to our people, and y'all know y'all been lying to our people, man. So to hell with anybody that could try to come up on this video and come up against the words that I just brought out according to the Bible. To hell with y'all, man. All right. The hell with y'all. The Lord put that man to death, man. All right? Because he didn't speak the truth to his people, man. He didn't tell us that we was the Hebrew Israelites. The hell with Martin Luther King, man. The hell with you coons, man. This is Jeremiah. And I'm about to wrap it up, man. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you. With knowledge and understanding. Did Martin Lucifer King feed us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible? No. That man walked around with a Bible, but he, he showed them they never read it. He showed, you can't, you can't um, find one speech where that dude was actually going into the Bible and quoting the scriptures, man. You can't find a video. Show me a video of that guy, you know what I'm saying, that false prophet, actually going into the scriptures and breaking it down the right way. Okay? But the Lord said what? Jeremiah chapter um, 3 verse 15 And I will give you pastors according to mine heart According to his mind Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding man. And, and, and it is what it is You have by Shema Shah say he's going to give you pastors That's going to feed you with the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the scriptures man 
And look, and we do that, starting off with the apostles and elders of great millstone, feed you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures each and every day, man. But y'all don't want it. Y'all want to hear lies like, like it says in Isaiah, man. The 30th chapter. Our people want lies, man. They don't want the truth, man. Well, that's all we're going to give y'all is the truth, man. Regardless if you want it or not, man. This is um St. John chapter 8. I'm going to start at, um, I start at 45. St. John chapter 8, verse 45. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, we teach you the truth each and every time we do a video, man. Okay? Camera on, camera off. We teach the truth, man. But do you people believe us? No. We tell you that we the Hebrew Israelites. Look, the video that I'm making right about now about MLK, I'm... I'm going into the scriptures on why the Lord, you know what I'm saying, killed that man. Ain't nobody going to believe me, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm coming straight out the scriptures, man. And it's written in red. It's the Lord speaking. So the Lord said when he was on the scene telling our people the truth, they didn't even believe him. So how much more me? You know what I'm saying? How much more the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down if they ain't believe our Lord is Savior, man? Plus, the, the Heavenly Father even said that, man. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to believe you because, hell, they didn't even believe me. They didn't even listen to me. So once again, St. John chapter 8, verse 45. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Okay? Uh, it's crazy though. But I'm going to jump down to 47. St. John chapter 8, verse 47. He that is of the Most High hears the Most High's words. And ain't, ain't that what I'm doing? Ain't I'm bringing out the Most High's words. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So it won't no light in MLK, Martin Luther King, Martin Lucifer King. It won't no, it won't no light in that dude. And that dude name won't even Martin, it was Michael. Okay? I bet you I bet you the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians didn't even know that dude name won't even Martin. It was Michael, man. Michael King, not Martin, Martin King. You know what I'm saying? It was Michael Luther King. You know what I'm saying? We call him um, Michael Lucifer King. So once again, St. John chapter 8, verse 47. He that is of the Most High, Yahweh, hear the Most High's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of the Most High. So the Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans try to come up against us preaching this word. You don't know the Most High. So stop lying to yourself, man. So I'm going to go back to St. John um, 8. I'm going to jump up. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And everything that I brought out, according to the Bible, about MLK was the truth. So that should make you free, man. The truth is going to make you free, not lies, man. Okay? Get out of the bondage of lies, man, and come back to this truth which will set you free spiritually and mentally. And soon come physically, man, when the Lord come back, man. And I got one more, and then I'm going to wrap it up, man. I pretty much said all I want to say right now. I mean, I got tons of scriptures through the spirit of the eye by Shemel Shah, but I don't kill a dead horse, man. I'm going to wrap it up. Let me bring this last scripture out through the spirit of the eye by Shemel Shah. This is Zechariah. This is what the real men of the Lord are going to be doing, man. They're going to be teaching lies, man. Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye, this is talking about the servants of the Lord, the ambassadors for the Lord, the prophets, the teachers, the bishops, so forth and so on, right? The apostles, the elders, the disciples. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And then Martin Luther King preached the truth according to the Bible. No, he did. This is a commandment right here that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that, that has been set up by Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, that teach this word, you teach the truth, man. Because all the ones of our people, the, the so-called false leaders, so-called teachers, that's not teaching our people the truth, the Lord's going to deal with you, man. Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, is going to deal with you, man. All right? Speak ye every man the truth. Let me read that one more time just to make it perfectly clear. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Talking about the leaders of our nation. They're supposed to be representing Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, who they're going to call God and Jesus Christ. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Not lies, but truth. Not false dreams, but truth. 
to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And you ain't not one time heard Martin Luther King go into anything according to the Bible. Only thing he went into is his false dreams and how we need to come together with the, with our with our common enemy, the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? That man led our people to the slaughter. Remember, people, that man had us get our whole head busted to the white meat like my dad and my mom them. They was born back in them times, man. Getting chased down by dogs and all that, man. Getting their whole head busted, busted to the white meat, man. Okay? Walking, you know what I'm saying? So they couldn't walk no more, man. Trying to walk from Birmingham to Atlanta all the way to D.C., man. For some rights, man. The Lord didn't tell you to do all that damn marching, man. The Lord told you to preach his word, and that's it, man. The Lord didn't command us to walk from damn Atlanta all the way to D.C., man. Begging this so-called white man for rights. You know what I'm saying? Separation, you know what I'm saying, was the best thing that ever could have happened to us, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Segregation, man. Okay? Was the best thing that ever happened to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Because we was created to be separate from these other nations, man. Okay? But nah, this dude was all about integration, man. Having the, um, the black kids, you know what I'm saying, go to school with the white kids. And you saw people called pure hell. Got spit on, got beat up. Uh, the city of their nonsense coffee shops, man. When, it, when, it, when these crackers were spitting in the coffee. You know what I'm saying? Spitting on the sandwich. All that, man. Um, doing like this with their nose. Putting boogers on the sandwich. Jig was getting jacked up behind his cone, man. And then that's all I gotta say, man. I'm getting pissed. At, I'm getting pissed the hell off, man. So I'm going to end the video through the spirit of your house. But remember, shot Lord when the brothers were edified. You know, MLK. That's all I got to say. MLK. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native y'all y'all better wake the hell up, man. Stop fall, falling behind these false prophets, man. This, they're gonna lead you straight to the slaughter, man. They dumb dogs. They can't bark, man. Okay. Giving all praise. Honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakakwadash. Double honors once again to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, man. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Peace and blessings to all you sincere occupants, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, regardless of people here for a bear. MLK. Shalom.